The big question was always, should we call it Africa Twin? Because it was a toast animal now. I mean, Africa Twin is one of the biggest um, icons we have as a, as a company, you know. Mm. And I know there was a lot of discussion about, is this bike going to be good enough to call it Africa Twin? Mm. And my response was, if it isn't good enough, we shouldn't launch it. Like you were saying to me yesterday, mm. you were with um, Aki and mm. you know, it's like midnight on yeah. a <laughs> Sunday night, yes. and you didn't agree yeah. on the, yeah. some problem with yes. the bike, you know, the stability. And so, you know, you just drive for two hours back to Osaka, uh, repair the bike until two o'clock yeah. in the morning, and then drive back down again. Yeah. I don't know whether you call that dedication or stupidity, I'm not sure, but anyway, I think it's dedication and passion. <laughs> That's Honda passion, really. But after yesterday, I mean, mm. you know, when, when we rode it and when we did the conclusion today, you know, I just said this bike is worthy, mm. yeah. really, of the crown yeah, of Africa Twin. Yeah. Mm. Because your baby was the original yeah. Africa Twin. Yeah. Is this which one would you <laughs> which one would you buy now? If there was two brand new, if there was original and this one, which one would you buy? Uh well it's take all the uh no yo singa on a just more yoku stick that when he was a child, his parents say the same question for him. Which uh mommy and daddy ah. which do you like? Mm. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. I answer to both. Mm. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> very good answer. Very, very good answer. <laughs> yes, one point. <laughs> My father was a, a customer, a Honda customer, an mm -hmm. Africa Twin customer, Transalp, yeah. uh, Africa Twin also, and he, also, he has always said that it was his favorite bike, so I'm happy to. Oh, you're just saying that, aren't yes. you? Yes. Huh? No, no, not only because he's here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I can't. Hey. Yes, please. <laughs> I will give you my shirt and you will I agree. I agree. I'll take a picture of Tosan and uh, send it to your father. Look, Dad. Look, Dad. He's the man. If you had one favorite part of the new bike, what would it be? And you can't choose your mum and dad either this time, okay? Yes, just off road. Feeling. Yeah, the feeling is, is for me is really special um, because it just feels so light when you yeah. ride it. It just doesn't feel like when you look at it, you don't. It doesn't even look like a thousand cc, and when you ride it, it feels lighter than like a Transalp or something. Mm. It's, it's just. So what about the other guys? So, it's off road with auto auto. It's off road with automatic transmission. Mm. It's a feeling. It's, うん。いや、うん。it's a hero gate. Mm. What about you, It's an acceleration. Mm. It's a traction. Always it's a somehow kicking. Mm. It's a ground feeling. Yeah. I write it. And you say? Everything. <laughs> no, I think for me. <laughs> like mom and dad uh, answer this one. Ma mommy and dad. <laughs> and <laughs> and and dad and 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 sister. <laughs> It's difficult because it's just the bike that you get on it and as I say, it just makes you smile and whatever. But if I was narrowing it down, um, it would be the actual feet, you know, the noise, the exhaust noise and the induction. And when, you, when you're when riding faster and, you know, when you're on like almost mm -hmm. full throttle, mm -hmm. it's just got so much character mm -hmm. that changes with every situation. different situation mm -hmm. that you're in. This of Katrin, that you can ride as you like. Mm. If you want fast, it's okay. Exactly. If you find some uh, rough road, you can go. It's highway, you can go. Mm -hmm. In town, also, you can enjoy it. And the other thing with, uh, we were conscious about was uh, DCT in this bike, you know, because of the fact it was going to be ridden off road. And I know I was very um, nervous about how it was going to work. But again, after the test, that DCT is incredible. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I do not love DCT. Maybe because I'm getting old and I do prefer to shift by myself. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, for first time, I felt that DCT now is better than me. Mm -hmm. So the new settings of the DCT, they are fantastic. And not only for on-road usage, yeah. but also off-road. So I've been riding off-road machines and I could never, never imagine mm -hmm. an off-road bike with a DCT. Mm -hmm. But now mm -hmm. I realize that it's, mm -hmm. it's possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like when you said to me, we're, we gave some yeah, feedback on yeah. DCT and we said, okay, and um, you, know, you, know, you adjusted it. Mm -hmm. And then you said to me, oh, uh, Dave San, just go and test again now, yeah. but do a few corners. <laughs> yeah. And I said, okay, no problem. And I, anyway, I did a few corners, and I thought, well, oh, I quite like this. How, so, how, how many corners you go? Well, I did the whole, <laughs> I did the whole corners, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, about 20 minutes later, everybody's saying, oh, I don't know where Dave's gone. Well, is he ever coming back? And, yeah. and but from the, the 28 years I've been developing all the mm. products, mm. that yesterday was probably one of the best experiences mm. from a riding mm. enjoyment mm. perspective mm. I've, mm. I've had in the... Yeah in all the years I've been doing yeah. this. I think something to be considered is that when we launched the first Africa to 